Hi guys, Kai here and welcome back to episode 7 of the FIFA 19 My Player Career with Toronto FC over in the MLS. Uh, we've got a few games today, I think we're covering three games in total in today's episode. Uh, so fingers crossed we have plenty of goals, remember we are on a little bit of a slump right now. Uh, not so much on the results side, more so on the goal scoring side. We're struggling to score. Um, more to do with the AI and the teammates um, passing sideways or making the wrong ball forward or wrong movement forward. Um, so we are a little bit limited. Maybe that will um, encourage us to hand in the transfer request in today's episode to try and get a move away. Um, oh, it was a great finish there. 16 minutes gone. Nice little cross there. It was towards Kai. Uh, but on the edge of the area it was Delgado with the volley. Was it a volley or the half volley? It definitely hit the floor before it went in. But I don't know if it actually bounced before he made contact with it. Let's have another look at that on the replay. Uh, so it's pushing down the far side. Cross comes in and boom. No, it was on the volley. Poor goalkeeper though. Look at that straight through the goalkeeper. That is FIFA 19 for you. But they will we'll take it. Uh, Marky Delgado, he gets his second goal in the MLS this season. Uh, but like I was mentioning, because we are struggling a little bit going forward, uh, I'm thinking that's more of a teammate issue. The lack of quality in the MLS, or at least for Toronto FC right now, on FIFA 19. Uh, wow, we need a new goalkeeper. Look at that goalkeeper, should have been getting to that one. But Orlando have gone forward and scored themselves an equaliser. Uh, but yeah, I think what we're going to do, I think the transfer window does open... If it's not already open, it might open during this episode. Um, so I think we'll hand in a transfer request. Whether we get an offer away or not, I'm not entirely sure. We've still got to um, get accepted on the transfer market, of course, from the manager and the board. And so we're going to hand in a transfer request, see exactly what the manager says, and then we'll find out if we've got enough time um, to actually get ourselves an offer. Hopefully we can get a move away to European football. And that's the kind of place where we want to go. Now, I'm not really bothered what country uh, or what kind of team because obviously we're still in the early stages of our crew. We've only played a handful of games at Toronto. Uh, already making a name for ourselves, especially scoring goals like that, as you just saw just before half time, and uh, giving Toronto a 2 1 lead, scoring from outside the area. I feel if we play for a better squad, we'll get more chances to do things like this. But look at that, totally did the defender into the top corner with a long-range effort. And there is Kai scoring his seventh MLS goal of the season as we do hit the midway point in the MLS year so far. Um, so as I said, not really bothered about who we go to or what league or even what country. Uh, be open to any offers. Um, always leave your um, suggestions below. If you think there's any decent teams, if they do come in and offer, um, do you think we should accept them? Are we waiting for the big name clubs or shall we go to somewhere a little bit smaller? You know, maybe in the championship in England, um, second division in, I don't know, Italy, Spain, Germany, France maybe. Or do you think we'll get one of the big names coming in for us straight away like Arsenal or Barcelona, Juventus maybe? Or shall we just accept somebody a little bit smaller like, I don't know, Munchen Gladbach, uh, Monaco maybe. I know Monaco may need some help going forward. Uh, Newcastle United. These are the kind of clubs where I am hoping we do get the offers from. And slightly smaller clubs compared to the big names in FIFA 19. Um, but as I said, we've got to wait to get accepted on that transfer list. And then we can wait and see if um, those kind of offers do come in for the services of Kai. Uh, but as you can see, he's having a cracking game so far. He's on a 9.5 rating. We've got just over 10 minutes to play. And uh, not Toronto, Orlando have actually pulled another goal back here, making it three goals to two. Um, so we've got just over 10 minutes to try and concentrate in this one. And don't concede a late goal and when, then we will have a nice three points. And Kai's had a good game so far, as you can see. Uh, he's already picked himself up a goal, maybe an assist. I think he did get an assist, didn't he, earlier on in this match. Uh, but nice goal there. Poor defending from Toronto FC. And uh, let's see if we can try and get ourselves another goal. But the most important thing now is just to not concede any more goals. We've got three minutes of added time remaining. Kai playing that one through for Josie Altador. Uh, but good defending there from Orlando. And now uh, maybe one that's attacking play from the home side. Almost played backwards, maybe that means that they do run out of time which they do 
So there we go, three goals to two for Toronto FC. Kai finishing the match with one goal, one assist and a final match rating of 9.4. And that's his 20th game of his career, as you can see, um, hitting the 12, uh, 20th game, sorry means that we do unlock quite a few accomplishments going forward so ever increasing halfway through 75 overall rated now so soon we'll be hitting 76 overall and then of course pushing towards 80 we are continuing to do the training at least simming through training um, so I think we will be around the 80 mark come the end of the season uh, whether we are still at Toronto FC or not or at a new club we'll have to and wait for that but I think we will be hitting towards 80 um, at the end of the year well let's see how we get on then can we make it two wins out of two we're playing against Chicago as you can see right now half an hour gone still waiting for the deadlock to be broken as um, Chicago actually play a th fantastic through ball here's one on one with a keeper defense is coming back shoots at that near post and somehow gets the ball into the back of the net goalkeeper Questionable positioning from him. Shouldn't really be beaten at that near post, but he was. And it is Chicago then who go in front. One goal to nil. 32 minutes played. Some work to do then for the away side if we are going to get back-to-back -back wins. Uh, but look at this. Should never really be beaten. He left a massive gap open, actually, at that near post. Should not be doing that. He made a mistake in that last game as well. Uh, but eighth goal of the MLS season then for that goal scorer. And into the final 10 minutes and we are still trailing here. One goal to nil. And in fact, I think in our second game, well, sorry, in our third game in today's episode, the third and final game, um, it is against Chicago as well. It's a return uh, match. As Kai goes through, he cut inside, went for the chance himself. He's been a little bit greedy there. Could have laid that one across the grass to his teammate, but tried to finesse it into that top corner in the far post. Um, but it was actually the defender who was there making the block. The goalkeeper was beaten, I think. So if it wasn't for that defender, we would be tied at one apiece right now. Into the final five minutes, still looking to attack here, trying to get ourselves back onto level terms. Uh, Kai on a 7.7, that went towards the near post, um, but the goalkeeper was there for an easy save. So into the final couple of seconds then in this match, it does look like it's going to be a defeat, a 1-0 defeat at that. Not good enough for Toronto FC. And maybe one last tackle. Come on, get this cross in here. Is Kai cuts inside, but the defender read the turn. And there is the final whistle. So, a defeat after a victory against Orlando. Three goals to two. We do take the defeat here against Chicago. One goal to nil. Um, so, let's, as we mentioned earlier on, let's hand in a transfer request. And there we go. It is requested. The transfer is requested. We are currently valued at £13 million. You can see in the bottom right there. Um, so, we're not too expensive. There should be plenty of offers coming in for the services of Kai soon enough. Hopefully from somebody good. And also, more importantly, hopefully from some European team. That is where we want to go. We won't be accepting any offers from any MLS clubs. We do want to head into some European football. Um, so hopefully we do get those offers coming in soon as possible. Maybe in tomorrow's episode we can... Um, look at some offers and maybe get one accepted. You never, never know. This could be actually our final um, game for Toronto if we do get a decent offer straight away. Uh, but this is the return fixture then in the MLS taking on Chicago. Remember, they just beat us one goal to nil. So we'll be looking here for an instant reply, instant revenge nevertheless. And here is Kai. Not at the best of um, opening 10 minutes. He's on a 6.3. And actually up to a 6.5 because he was... Um, in the build up towards that goal so we take the lead one goal to nil Seb Giovinco he is the club's top goal scorer right now and we'll see if we can get him a couple more um, as we, before this game ends because obviously we are looking for a revenge um, win and we want to end today's episode with a victory nice little finish there from the Italian then one goal to nil to Toronto FC that's his 10th MLS goal of the season as Kai's trying to go through the defence here but the defender too fast for Kai manages to get back and now Chicago are looking to get themselves back onto level terms attacking on this near side cross comes in on the edge area nodded through there nice little pass and the ball is in the back of the net but the linesman's flag is up unluckily I did not see that it was actually offside there will we get the replay we won't get the replay unfortunately uh, but thankfully for us it was offside so says the linesman and the ball did find the back of the net. It was a good goal. 
to be fair. But we are still leading here. One goal to nil. Kai trying to get in that near post. But the goalkeeper again reading it. We are heading into the hour mark then. Toronto FC 1. Chicago 0. Reverse um, scoreline from that last match of course. As they go through and they've equalised. What a header. In fact how, how the hell did the defender let him get there to get that header on. Um, no idea how he managed to do so. Not just get there. Um, but angle it and get enough power on it as well to find the top corner. That is FIFA 19 all over for you. If the computer wants to score against you, they will. But look at this. Great cross. And defender. All they had to do there is just get in front of it. But no. And there was even a little bit of curl on the ball as well to find the top corner. Um, so there we go. 1-1 uh, one, it is. We've got 25 minutes remaining. And now we need some um, a little bit of luck to go our way. Uh, it's been all Chicago in this second half you have to say they've had a goal disallowed they've had one allowed and now we're going through here. that one's played through for Kai the low driven effort across the face of the goalkeeper that puts Toronto FC back in front 25 minutes to play and we are looking good now for the three points we need to concentrate at the back don't let any stupid goals go into the back of our goal uh, but nice little ball there Seb Giovinco probably could have turned inside them himself uh, there was a little bit of a hint of offside as Kai ran through, uh, but he wasn't. And there he scores his eighth MLS goal of the season. Two behind Giovinco then, um, still chasing him as Toronto are on the attack once again. Here is Michael Bradley, plays that one forward for Kai. Nice little turn there from the young American striker, but the goalkeeper, Sanchez, he was there with a save from Toronto. And the score remains, Toronto two goals to one. Into the final five, Kai's through, he hits it first time, he had so much time to take that one on, probably could have ran a few metres as well, but he decided to hit it first time, straight into the path of the goalkeeper, and we do hold on, still, got ourselves a corner, 8.1 rating for Kai as he goes towards this near post, tries to get there first, which he doesn't, cleared away by Chicago defender, gets the ball back though. He's going to play the 1-2. He does play the 1-2. A bit of space open up. His shot was blocked. He lays it off though for Seb Giovinco. And he picks himself up and an assist. That's his 10th assist of the season. Um, and of his career, of course. That makes it Toronto 3, Chicago 1. And with a minute to play, we should have the revenge and the three points wrapped up now. And uh, Chicago not happy. The goalkeeper, Sanchez, he won't be happy. Kai's original shot here was blocked. Good defending there, but... A little bit of luck went our way. Kai got there, lays it off to Seb Giovinco to score his 11th MLS goal of the season. And now we just await the final whistle. And then, of course, we can... Ch oh, my God, I thought that was going into the back of net. How did he hit the woodwork from there? It should be three goals to two, uh, but he missed the target. There we go, then. There is the final whistle. Before we do end to wait today's episode, let's go ahead and see if our transfer request has been accepted from the manager and from the board as we just look there Kai finishing the game with one goal one assist and a final match rating of 9.1 so here we go then here is a transfer request it has been turned down so um, we're going to have to hand in another one we're going to do that just to end today's episode and then hopefully in tomorrow's episode it will be accepted and then the offers will start rolling in